it out of the bag. The, the, the only thing no. I'd like to no. add to this that is we all are aware of the national the economy. Point. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the 49% of the 55 and up population as of 2010, many of those people <laughs> were invested in 401ks. Mm -hmm. And we all know what that looks like these days. I have friends who have lost over $100,000. I have friends with, like myself, with children still in school. I have a lost school student. Okay. We have no idea what the future holds. No idea what anything looks like these days. So right now, what you see here in Wareham, I think is mild compared to the future. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Green. Uh, let's hear from Larry. Well, uh, Bruce, you want to ask her a question? No, no. Go ahead. I'm sorry. All right. I, um, Larry Gaines, uh, chairman of the board. Um, I've handed you all a copy of uh, what we've tried to accomplish uh, so far to date. Uh, unfortunately, we've only been in operation as a full board member uh, for a few months, uh, you know, four or five months. It's not a whole year. Um, I think uh, one of the most uh, accomplished things we did is to have sitting right here next to us. Mm -hmm. uh, I think God blessed us by sending this girl to us because she's really, really got, she got on the ground running and she's taught us things and worked with us and we formed committees as you <coughs> will see later on and I have some of the committee chairmen who would like to, you know, mention some of the things they've accomplished. Um, they also have attended the uh, conferences at their own cost that we've had. So they're, they're training themselves to be better uh, board members, to respond better to Marsha, uh, and maybe we can find a better way to accomplish the things that are challenges that Marsha just laid out. I'm not going over through everything. I'm just giving you the highlights. Um, a new committee, uh, one, another co uh, committee that we set up is one that uh, was a building study to help John uh, Sanjunet make some decisions, I hope, in our favor. And the uh, building committee uh, was headed by uh, Debbie Haskell, who couldn't make it tonight, uh, Donna Chambers, and uh, Jan Bambury. And if you would like to sit over here for a second. Yeah. Um, they did a heck of a job. They went through every room in this building and basically mapped the building out and presented the completed uh, study to Marsha so that we can make this building more efficient for the town of Wareham and for us. And this week in, in some of the plans that Marsha has in the future to offer more services at no cost to the town. So, Jan, do you want to say anything about that? Actually, we took a blueprint, and we went upstairs and downstairs and in the little storage closets and, and office. We couldn't get in here. I don't know why, but we couldn't get in here. Yeah. <laughs> but we did. We went through everything. We saw where things were stored, uh, underneath the stairs. There is a lot of room here that we could utilize and make this really work well. This, this is a good building, not too handicapped accessible. However, it's still a darn good building. I, we, we have so many things that we could do here. Uh, we have things that we're doing now anyway, but there's so much more we could accomplish with this, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm looking forward to putting some of these rooms, you know, cleaning them up, getting them ready, let's go. We, we can have a good time here. And we need to bring more seniors here, and, and I think it's very important because it, it's a fact that if you stay home, a senior stays home, they will die 10 years earlier than someone that gets out and about. Mm -hmm. And with the idea of having the transportation, bring them into this building, we can use this building, and I think it's going to be great. I really do. Great. You're welcome. Another uh, important committee that we started um, was by accident. Mr. James Eubank uh, is a retired pastor, as some of you know. And uh, he made a connection with the local uh, clergy 
Uh, Jan Smith Rushton had been a intermediary action, and Jim got together with them, and they created a very, very important thing in town this year. I don't think it's been done, I'm, at least not since I've been here. Jim? Through much of the November and part of December, the clergy was kind of looking to the town to take in the homeless, and apparently there's quite a homeless population. At first I thought, why am I getting involved with this? Because there are no elderly in the homeless population. But then I got a thing from the state that Larry sent me on email, and there are a significant number of people, according to the bulletin I got, that are really in, of, of a great age or whatever. Well, anyway, so the clergy was looking to the town to put them up. And, um, and then I saw uh, John Sanjanette, and he told me uh, that our insurance company that insures the town properties, you know, this building in the town hall, that they just wouldn't hear of it. And I think that's right, that it would be a mess if we tried to do it. So I took that back to the um, clergy, and then uh, <clears throat> we, we through, Marcia knows everybody, you see. Mm -hmm. And she put me in touch with a uh, lady, Doris Johnson, who seems to be the seminal person in Plymouth, and Plymouth has the best of all possible worlds. Uh, if one week uh, a person might be put up at the Catholic Church, another week at the Methodist Church, another week at the Congo Church, and then you all take a week, and then late in the year you take another week. So you really only commit your church to two weeks. And uh, they got the whole coal time covered. Well, Doris came in and made quite a talk on that. And the uh, pastor at the uh, Nazarene Church and a pastor at the Episcopal Church and a pastor at the Congo Church, they all lined up and took a week. And so kind of a domino effect is happening. Now, obviously, sometime in early April, the game will be over and people will go back to sleeping in the woods. But uh, right now, we, we've got a breakthrough. Then uh, the other thing I wanted to report on, it's not at all about my committee, but nobody said it yet, but Marsha has $90,000 worth of grants in play that she's applied for. And even on a weekend, she writes grants. And I know that sounds unbelievable, but it really is true. She works six or seven days a week, and that's just how she wants to live her life. Well, the point is, we may see quite a flood of money if these grants land. And that, I can't call her a cash cow, see, that's not the right thing to say. But yeah, yeah, yeah I'm in trouble now. But look, there, there's, there's a bundle of money riding over here. It's going to be good for everybody. All right, uh, you better get me off the program. <laughs> Let, let's just say we got a good You can tell he was a preacher. <laughs> uh, we've also set up a media um, group, and Dave uh, Smith is the chairman of that group, and that's handling all of the promotions, the activities, the announcements of it uh, planned in the future that's happening here so that we can start generating much better interest in this, this community to this building. There's a lot, it's, it's come off with a bad reputation in the past. A lot of people left this building and they just weren't comfortable. We're getting people back. We had 10 new people attend that event today. And all we need is a block at a time. That's all we need. Mm -hmm. We need time. It's gonna take us probably about a year to get things really rolling the way we, we foresee in our goals. Uh, and, and whether it's talking about fun activities, help activities, or just reaching out to the homeless like we have, we're, we're doing it. It's just going to take a little bit of time. We got, the, we got these volunteers. They're really, really stepping up to the plate. So, Dave, do you want to say anything about the... Yeah, I think you can hear me from here. I'll make it real quick. Our biggest challenge <coughs> is to try to get the word out to the different seniors and people in need. And so we're trying to contact the different newspapers and media to do that. And I just would like to put a little plug in there that when you do hear from us, if you would give us a proper uh, notoriety <laughs> so that the seniors and the people in need will be able to know the, the many services we have just, you know, 
from 9 to, to 4 in the afternoon worth of, of different services.